industries that lack, whether it's, you know, we've seen the music industry get disrupted. But what are the other industries, like, you know, like freight services, airlines, do you think all these get completely disrupted? And do you think they create, are there any new opportunities? Look, you know, this, you, in thinking about smartphones and the origin of smartphones and where this leads us to these devices that we're carrying around today that are effectively as powerful as our desktop PC was five years ago, right? So this is more law being applied to something that's very personal that you carry around with you eight, 10, 12 hours a day, right? So in, in what industry does that matter? When it becomes personal, that leaves it up to the consumer to take it into the industry that needs it, right? So whether it's the enterprise, whether it's uh, you know the, the school uh, for for some of the social aspects or for some of the youth applications, um, it's exactly what happened on the internet, right? The internet is the destination. Um, these devices are just another form of connectivity. The internet is a window in the world, and really does something. I mean, the internet, cloud computing, right? There are things working on your behalf in the cloud while the device is in your pocket. Right? So that's the power of a network connected device, an operating system that reaches beyond the phone and into the file and gets you personally, individually participating in the internet ecosystem. So, what is Google's interest about in these devices? Is it just advertising related to you know, a revenue stream or you can connect something to like that? Well, the simple message for Google is uh, what's good for the internet is good for Google. Um, so, as long as, uh, uh, as long as the web moves forward and we have uh, more people accessing the web and the services are available to a broader base globally, that's going to be good for Google's corporate business, which of course is kind of So, how did you make Sanjay a big user in on Android? How did that happen? You know, I, I mean, you know, maybe we should let Andre, uh, I mean, uh, Sanjay answer that, but he didn't take a lot of convincing. I think that uh, like minded, um, there wasn't a modern operating system available. You know, most of the operating systems that were running cell phones. You know, we're invented before the internet existed, right? So I think Sunday saw the opportunity to basically bring the web to people's pockets, and you know, Android is something that's best for right now. So, what was your, why you believed in that market? There, there, there was a couple other options. Yeah. Well, let me just uh, first of all address the question that you asked Andy about which industries will smartphones disrupt. I see smartphone as the future of consumer and prosumer computing. For enterprise, I think it's possible that there are other form factors which are more important. But for consumer computing, I can't imagine that in five to seven years' time that people don't view this as their primary computing device. The kind of, because computing is changing. The kind of, because computing is now completely connected. And, and there's no device. If it doesn't fit in your, fit in your pocket, I don't think it's going to be a relevant computing device for the consumer and consumer. And that's why I think what Andrew uh, is doing with the operating system and, and, and the access to the, the internet, I think those things are very important. There are lots of technology developments that have occurred in the last five years. The processor, you know, the one Andy uh, first produced the app one, um, it was a gigahertz processor that consumed 35 watts. Today, the processors deliver gigahertz in 500 milliwatts. So we, you're taking roughly 100x reduction in power consumption. So the computing is got to get more. The display, the quality of display, the resolution of display, the consumer for price points, the data connectivity, all of these, the cost of memory, all of these things are inevitably driving to computing becoming mobile. And I, I, I believe smartphone is probably the, the, the preferred form of that. Only in one sense, it must fit in your pocket. And if it fits in your pocket, uh, you will carry it with you all the time. I think that's, that's a, we've broken that over a number of years. So I think that that's a very important thing. Going back to why Andy convinced me, actually it was, um, it was <laughs> two, drunks, two drunks in a bar finding each other and, uh, and, and finding that, that, that it was the only solution that we had. We, we, we really, I've always, uh, I've always <laughs> enjoyed working with Andy. I've, I've known Andy for a long, long time. And Andy thinks about business the way I, I will always enjoy the way he thinks about business. He and I had a relationship prior to my coming to Motorola. Um, and um, I, I remember the first day I uh, got to Motorola, I think the first or second day I called Andy, said, Andy, I gotta come to see you. Uh, we have we have some